Kotlin 2.2 lets you simplify code like this by removing a bunch of the noise while still keeping the readability. In this video, we'll take a look at all the different scenarios where you can use context sensitive resolution. One of the things that I've always enjoyed about Kotlin is that the compiler's behavior just generally makes sense. Whenever it's possible for it to figure something out from the code, it usually figures it out. If I check the type of a variable, it'll give me a smart guess if that's safe to do so, making it easy to then access members of the type. Or if I specify a type once, I usually don't have to specify it again, thanks to type inference, which keeps my code simpler and easier to read. Kotlin 2.2 makes the compiler even smarter by introducing context sensitive resolution as an experimental feature. This improvement lets you use enum entries and similar static values as well as types from sealed hierarchies without having to qualify them with the containing type when that's already obvious from the context. So let's take a look at this in action, keeping in mind that it's still an experimental feature, so it might change in the future as we get more feedback on it. Let's say that you're working on some data layer code and you want to map error codes coming from the network into nicely typed enum values, defining a mapping from int to network error. Usually this code would involve some repetition as you would need to say network error dot value on each branch. Of course, you could import each of these values separately or even use a star import to bring all of these values into scope at once. However, this takes a couple of extra steps and it also places these values into scope for the entire file, which might be unnecessary and can even cause clashes if you're importing a lot of values from similar types. With Kotlin 2.2, we can use context sensitive resolution to improve this code. To turn on this experimental feature, we just have to hop over to our build configuration and add the appropriate compiler argument, something like this. After a project sync, we can get rid of the type qualifiers on each branch, as the compiler can see that we're expecting to return a network error from this when statement. And so it places all of the entries of that enum into the resolution scope for us, which means that we can easily reference them in each branch. So with this, you get the same results with less code just by the compiler using the existing context more intelligently. Let's say that we now need to create a user readable error message based on that network error enum. We can do this with yet another when expression, and we'd normally write the code something like this. But if you think about it, the enum that we're working with is already obvious from the type of the error variable, which we're passing into the when statement. So with context sensitive resolution turned on, the compiler can resolve those values without the type name added explicitly. You can also write more concise equality checks like this, comparing a value against an enum entry without having to add an extra qualifier to it. Once again, you can do this because it's clear from the type of the variable that you probably want to compare it with an entry of that same type. Context sensitive resolution also kicks in when making function calls that expect a type that has well known values. For example, we can call the log function from above and pass in one of the enums entries without explicitly saying which enum it belongs to. And while we are here, the same thing also works for default parameter values, where you'd normally have to repeat the type name, but now you can just use the name of the value itself. So far, all of the examples that we've looked at used enums, but this feature isn't just about enums, so let's take a look at some of the other cases where it can help you. Something similar to enums would be sealed types, where we often create nested types and then we reference those when performing type checks. So let's rewrite our previous enum into a sealed interface. I can get a bit of help from AI Assistant for this, and I can also ask it to add a couple of properties to some of our subclasses. Let's go back to our message function, which converts a network error into a user readable string. Once again, because we already have the context of the parameters type, we can just mention the nested classes of the sealed hierarchy using their own names without having to add any qualifiers to them because it's already clear which classes we mean to use. It also gets easier to access values from companion objects, like constants that belong to a specific class. Let's say that you're working with a color class which contains some predefined colors like this. When trying to match a color value with a when statement, you can now refer to those constants directly as they'll already be in the context. This will even work for values that are added to the companion as extensions. If I add a new Cody color as an extension property, I can match against that in my branches the same way. Importantly, context sensitive resolution will never resolve to functions, only to properties, enum entries, or types. So members like the background function from the companion object here would not automatically be added to the scope. If you're working on the JVM, this mechanism will also work the same way with Java static values. For example, if you're trying to check if a big integer instance is one of the predefined constants that exist in that class, all these constants from big integer will be available directly without qualifiers or extra imports. 
With that, we've seen how context-sensitive resolution makes your code simpler in Kotlin 2.2. This is still an experimental feature, and we're even considering possible syntax changes in the future, so your feedback really matters with this one. We encourage you to try context-sensitive resolution in your projects and let us know how it works for you. You can do that by joining the discussion in the Keep repository, where you'll also find the proposal with the full technical details. You can also check out the full release notes for Kotlin 2.2, where you can learn about all the other language improvements introduced in this version, such as context parameters, nested type aliases, and improved Java interpreter value classes. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and have a nice Kotlin.